now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, finally, some nicer weather heading our way in terms of no rain. We don't need any more, but much less humidity. It'll be the lowest humidity that we have felt in about a month, and that's going to be arriving Friday and Saturday. But at least we'll begin to feel that humidity drop tomorrow. Temperatures came down a little bit today with highs generally in the mid to upper 80s, and they'll be a little cooler than that tomorrow as the cold front now in western Kentucky continues to sink slowly down to the south. Live first warning Doppler rate are showing uh, scattered showers and thunder showers diminishing now over western Kentucky. Just false returns around the radar site here north of the river. But we had a solid line of heavy rain. Uh, northern Hopkins, central McLean, into southeastern Davis County. That set up uh, shortly before sunset, but did begin to diminish after the sun went down. And that area now is drying out a little bit at least. The heaviest cell we have is up in northwestern Union County. That's been drifting to the north, and the heaviest rain now passing to the northwest of Morganfield. Few showers have also made it up into the Henderson area. Those kind of faded away. And again, these are false returns. The darker shades of green, of course, yellow and red, that's the real deal. So a few could get up here into Evansville, certainly Owensboro also. But in general, we're going to see a weakening trend as we head through the overnight. But look at where all that heavy rain fell. You see these bullseyes here, one on the trade water just south of Providence on the Caldwell-Hopkins County line. That's four Four to five inches of rain, the same on the McLean Davis County line northeast of Calhoun. And the one week total, as you look at the 24 hour total here, this is just any rain in general. This is rain of at least an inch or more in the last week. And again, most of the tri state is doing fine with rain, although a few holes beginning to show up across northern and western portions of the tri state. Owensboro, oh, you've had a little bit of rain in the last hour. A live view from the riverfront on our roofclaim.com tower. Camera, same for downtown Evansville, kind of on the edge of those showers. That's our Superior Ag Tower camera with a temperature right now of 77. The dew point close behind at 72, but now a northeast wind with rising pressure behind the front, which is stalling out now in western Kentucky with temperatures in the low to mid 70s. We'll bottom out in the upper 60s to low 70s overnight. So the front is stalled here right now. That's where it will stay overnight and slowly begin to drift back to the south tomorrow afternoon, taking the showers with it eventually out of our area by sunset tomorrow afternoon and evening. So future tracker continues to diminish the activity overnight. Should be a relatively dry morning commute. A little sunshine breaking out and as it does the scattered showers and thunder showers will redevelop pretty much where they were tonight along and south of the river and then they will begin to push away to the south. This is noon by 4 p.m. They're pretty much along and south of the Western Kentucky Parkway. Humidity is beginning to drop. Highs will be about 80 to 85. Then skies clear tomorrow night. Humidity off the board on Thursday with highs in the mid 80s. A second front comes through Thursday night, drops the humidity even more on Friday into the pleasant range as we head into the weekend. So scattered showers and thunder showers along and south of the river diminishing overnight, upper 60s to low 70s. Some sun tomorrow, but more scattered thunder showers developing along and south of the river, and then they push away to the south in the afternoon. Humidity begins to fall 80 to 85 for the high. Then the humidity is off the board starting Thursday. Sunshine in 86, even lower humidity Friday and Saturday with highs in the low 80s. We start the weekend at 61 degrees, so a couple of really nice days. Sunday, the clouds increase. Scattered thunder showers look like they're going to come in either late Sunday, Sunday night, or early Monday. Hopefully we'll salvage still a really nice day with a high of 83. The humidity is back early next week, but high temperatures still only in the lower 80s. So about another 18 hours or so to dodge the scattered showers and the humidity and then much, much nicer weather. Okay, and uh, before we head to the break, uh, as we 